Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and the other day we made an awesome Tinkercad funnel. Today, friends, I'm going to get one ready for 3D printing, so let's get cracking. All right, so step one is to find our original design. As you can see, I have got a ton of designs, so I'm going to type funnel and see if I can search for it. Here it is, fun with funnels. So here is our project. I shut off my grid for taking pictures. I'll bring that back. If you click the X, you can check it out. This funnel right here had a height of 30 and a diameter of 10. I think for my project, I'm actually going to keep those measurements, but this is where you would adjust it to find the exact measurements you want. Now, I want to add a few features that make this a little bit more dandy. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a rim around this. We're going to do that with the tube. If you click back here, remember it had a diameter of 40. So if I click on this and do a radius of 23, it will be a little bit larger than our shape. I don't like 23, that's too much. I'm gonna go back to 21. I'm gonna do all the sides to 64. I'm gonna change the height to one and press enter. I think that's a decent size for the lip. Let's quickly do a line. I'm gonna make the green one the boss. Middle and middle. That's pretty decent, but I want that lip to be larger. I'm gonna do 22. Notice that wall thickness lines up pretty decent, but instead of 2.5, we want two and press enter and see if that ends right on that edge. It's a little short, so I'm gonna do 2.1. I'm gonna change this to 21.5. So I'm just getting the exact measurements by nudging it. That does connect with the lip just like I want. And then to make those permanent, I am going to group them. So now it is one shape. Now I also want to put a little spout on this. We're going to use the same tool. First, I'm going to hit work plane and set it up top. Let's bring out that tube. This time, let's set the radius at four and see how close that is. I'm going to do a wall thickness of one and press enter. You do, need, you do need to wait for it to settle in. Four is still too big, so let's try three and press enter. If we do a line, we'll be able to see how close we are. So I'm going to do center and center. Three is not quite right. Let's try 3.25. That is pretty darn close. Let's see about 3.5. Bingo. Now I do want this to be totally round. I like that size of one. I'm going to stretch it out 15 millimeters. And then friends, we are going to slice it. Watch this. If we bring out a cube, I'm going to raise it up. I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. Now I can nudge this into place. I'm going to do a couple of control ups so it gets right to that edge. Double check that we've got it all selected. And friends, when you group it, bingo, you have now got a tiny printable funnel in just a few minutes. How fun is that? If you wanted to add a little ring out here, you could do that real quickly as well. Remember the thickness of this was one, so you probably want to stay the same. Let's say we make that six wall thickness of 2.5 you could just nudge it in place and you could group it and add it just like that as well so easy to customize these and make these look exactly like you want when you're done we're simply going to hit export and we're going to export as an stl i'm going to print this on my ge tech a10t once again look in the 3d modeling i'm going to find that fun with funnels in the 3d modeling there is our cool design. Give it a moment to slice. It is going to be a 17 minute print. I will print via USB. 0.3 layers, line width is 4, 1.2 for the wall thickness, 0.8 for the top and bottom. 30% infill, 205 and 60 are my temperatures for this PLA and a speed of 60. I always print with a skirt, six lines so it purges the other colors. Friends, it's time to hit print.
And about 17 minutes later, we have a fantastic little funnel. Totally designed in Tinkercad in just a few minutes. Did not need any supports. And friends, I think that is pretty darn awesome. All right, everybody, so there you have it. Steps to take our little funnels, make them a little more custom, get them to the size we want, and actually 3D print them. Now, this is crazy tiny, but I don't actually need a funnel. I just wanted you guys to see how it all come together. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to add a comment. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.